Kubor Kabati C TV. Lawan Rashapi Daka Frank Motors. I am Tata Punch. Price starting at 5.80 lakhs. Ringkat Bakanet Foodish. Or Dharma Pi, Nin Wan Ramani, Hakir Dob Ying Jong Pi. Kasorkar Jela, Haka Arpan Retori Urisau, Araja Arpoar, Kalapan Kuburam Yakish Pongot Kinong Yakunti, Malawan Pai Nakari Turkey, Kapala Long Haka State Convention Center Shilong. Lapan Kuburam Yakini Kinong Yakai, Da Umen Tri Rangbaka Jela, Konrad Konkal Sangma, Harinkar Kajinga Sakilang, Jong Umen Tri Katanat, Sports and Youth Safe, Uba Bante Dor Lingdo, Ki Officer Nakatanat Yakai, Makaria State Olympic, Baki Bahiang Assem. Hagani Gajing Alang, Kasorkar Jela, Kala Aikus Nam, the Kasong Pisa, Kaba San Lak Tinkai, Kakong Margaret Patau, Kabla Yok Korea Katak Maxiar, She Lak Tinkai, Kakong Angel Mary Melum Long Kuns Im, Kabla Yok Korea Katak Marnong, She Lak Tinkai, Oba Alexander Lingdo, Ubla Yok Korea Katak Marnong, Our Lak Tinkai, Oba Raymond Nong Klau, Ubla Yok Korea Katak Marupa, Haka Pro Arm Universe, Kabla Long Hat Thailand. San Pau Haja Tinka, Yoba Don Borum Nong, Ubala Job Yakatak Mar Nong, Haka Jing Yakop and Edok Sa, Kabala Long Dang Shen, Haka Re Vietnam, but Mar San Pau Haja, Kiwi Pat Kibala Legishimenta, Haka Jing Yakop, Kunkti, Kabala Long Dang Shen, Haka Re Turkey. When the Aborigines of Men to the Crow Bottom, the government just on the Gavia to the Sports Department, and I shouldn't provide the Kunkti. But yet, Pendong Brahmini had a legacy, but the long legacy of the Kila, it was a legacy of the Amos Lee, who took away the Jinga Nekai, who by New York and Lechim Matashaba, knew that the Jinga Rap Junki, yet he sponsored the pair of the pair. The Rabbitaging Sosaman of the crowd, and I know, yeah, the Honorable Chief Minister, Jimmy Mr. Conrad Sama, and the Ya i Sports Minister i Bak Pan Kredor Lindo, but iki way way kini perniagaan jual kereta Sports Department ke Jami. Aku blame tu ya i Anderson Secretary Awashi. Nada pada jenis sokongan ke bakal bang New York kini kalau bang pimpin dan program ini, kalau cuci awak semua nama bang. Hake Jing Wat sponsorship to me to Bukhaki, Shakirti, the sports department, to the club and Yawat thingy, but I did get the in your audition and Tasha Turkey. There, we blame Nandra Puya in the sports department. We have a Jim Trey Kang Junki, he brought away. But they in Bath had Jim Shah, the Junki, New York, and even Lab in the election with Ta, the Do Al Haja Katmadai, the Kukor, the Do Uta Al Haja Akua. Tiga jingga lecik kita juga hakan di World Championship kebelom hari hari ini dan kumpulan Rio Pool dan Rio Pool tu di ikan trees kebawaan banyak sembunta hakan wek kita juga juga ini dan aku sangat bad ngalorun hakan final hadu open yo banya ya lepas syak baka baka ri Brazil. But the only way I had to go to Brazil, to go to the Anna Santos, to go to the world champion, former world champion, and I love and beat the car. The other one is the first one to go to the car. And I'm sure you've got any good championship for me. I'm not going to go to the car. I'm 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 going to go to the sports department. Kerjaan berapa ini mereka konsen dengan New York dan Chile mentas day New York dan Chile usah kejinjot South Dakota medals ni lah kemana ya ka India di Morocco way. Immediately after we got the information, especially our athletes who have gone abroad, who have gone outside the country to participate and come back with medals and facilitate them. This is the first time I must say. I will start I would like to thank the department and that's why I remember when we recall back since 2018-19 
I remember. I would like to share with you this. When I took over in 2018 as a sports minister, under leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, Shri Konrad K. Sama, the first and foremost, I called the officer, the director of my department to start and initiate immediately how to have our own sports policy. And I would like to tell you also, because of the policy, we are being able to start this cash award, start to facilitate our athletes from a different kind of discipline, whatever participation, national event or international event. But I'll tell you, after one year, 2018 and 2019, we have approved that sports policy. Congratulations, my lord. Great. Let's move on to the Boston's in the fourth World Championship. We also have Bansha Kankiran, Hugo Kankiran. Let me invite once again Dr. Lord Aruna, the bronze medal winner in the little FF program Asia Pacific Championship in Bermuda, which won the tall category at the Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, the top 15 of October 2022.
Also with a bronze medal for our country, we have Asian Mary Ali Oma Kosi with a bronze medal for the world of 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 the She received the cash of his one life citation and the medals from mom. We are indeed very happy of our women here and we look forward to more women participation and winning medals for our state and our country. Yes, let's welcome with a very big wall of applause. Once again, I'd like to congratulate each and every one of you for the medals and the participation that you have done at different tournaments that took place in different parts of the world. Sri Bantador was uh, mentioning about the different programs and policies that our government has done in the last four and a half years. And I'd like to share his concerns as well as the points that he had mentioned and take those discussions forward. And I think a very important point that he had mentioned during his speech was that we normally look at certain results of the national games and we all get very disappointed that we don't win medals. And then we start to talk about it for a week or two weeks or three weeks or about a month. And then everything back gets back to normal and nobody's bothered about it. And that's generally the kind of reactions and the kind of way things have been. Not just in sports, but in many of the other areas of uh, important concerns for our society and for our state and for our people. And uh, this fact about uh, winning medals in uh, different uh, tournaments, national games, as he had mentioned, it doesn't happen overnight. It's like planting a seed one day and expecting the fruit to be growing the next day. It doesn't work like that. You need to not only plant the seed, but you need to nurture it. You need to take care of it. You need to invest in it. You need to water it. You need to give it different nutrition. And that's when the tree grows well. And only after a certain time, you start getting fruits. So what we believe strongly in our government and the way we have been interacting with the different associations, is that we feel that we are doing the right steps today in order to be able to nurture our sports persons, our athletes so that in the coming days not just in the national games 
but maybe in the 2024 Paris Olympics, or maybe in the LA 2028 Olympics, or maybe in the Brisbane 2032 Olympics, there may be a chance that all the investments that we're making today will bear some fruits and results in the days to come. And we have been working with that mindset. That's really how we see it. We've been targeting that we need to reach that level. And we realize that in all of this aspect, it's not just things happen just because you want it to happen. You need a strategy, you need a policy, you need a system in place. The Honourable Member, um, uh, Minister has mentioned about the youth policy and the sports policy. It may sound very simple and people may think that it's another document, but it's not. It's the blueprint of what you want to do and how you want to do it and what needs to be done and who needs to do what at what particular time. And if you don't have this blueprint and this policy, then you are just shooting in the air and just firing in the, you know, in the darkness because you don't have a plan. So what policy allows us to do, it, it helps us to lay a plan down. It allows us to get certain systematic things in place. And that's the beginning point of any kind of a strategy to really make a difference in whatever sector that you want. Whether it's youth, whether it's health, whether it's education, agriculture, you name it. So therefore the policy as the Honourable Minister mentioned in his speech was the crux of where we started off things with. Where are we? Where do we want to go? And in order to reach, and to reach from here to there, what is it that we need to do? We also realize that apart from this, we need to ensure that we have infrastructures in place. Now, we may have all the policies, we may have the right uh, systems in place. But if you don't have the infrastructures to help and to allow our athletes and our sports persons to practice, then things fall flat. And hence, a comprehensive plan and strategy was made to increase infrastructures and make sure that the infrastructures are at a top level. Now, these things also don't happen overnight. These are large investments. Even after budgeting over 500 crores, we still have a long way to go. Every district headquarter must have a decent, you know, uh, athletic uh, uh, track and field uh, facilities, indoor facilities, whether it's for arm wrestling, for different kind of other disciplines. All of these require pro proper infrastructure. And they have to be there at every district level. If possible, slowly, slowly, at, ever, at every subdivisional level, at every block level. And therefore, it's a process that continues. So we have started it, we have started investing in it. Government has a lot of expenditure and things to do. A lot of people ask me questions. Say that, well, government has money to do this. You know, why can't government pay the salaries of so-and-so group? You see, the government doesn't work like that. There's a budget for everything. It's like you run a house. You have budget for electricity bill, you have budget for water, you have budget for oil expenditure, petrol expenditure, you have budget for you know, the fees that has to be paid. You budget for everything. And similarly, government also needs to budget. And hence, it's not that if the money is available, that we will just pay you know, or spend the money in just one area. Yes, those areas are important. But as a government, we need to see that all sectors are balanced out. The entire process of doing what we're doing in sports, we need to real, we need to also do with other programs and other uh, policies. Government has started a really good program which we call Yes Megalite Program. This is again a youth engagement program. Now, a youth want to do a lot of things because you have a lot of energy, you have a lot of ideas, but you don't get support. And so, if you don't get support, and uh, the good things you want to do. If finally nobody is there to ask you or help you, then what we find is ultimately these youth end up doing the wrong things. And that's really what the dangerous part is. And hence this Yes Megalab program is meant to support the youth organizations who want to do productive and constructive programs and be able to channelize your energy in the right direction. 
and that's the objective of Yes Meghalaya. I'm happy that a large number of groups have come in and taken money. We are giving up to one lakh rupees to any youth organization for any positive activity that you would like to do. Be it sports, be it music, be it a social activity, be it a cleaning drive, be it a cultural program, you name it. Whatever you want to do, no questions asked. You just have to register and we're giving funds to you to do those positive activities. And we want this to be done on a regular basis. Every year we would like to support the youth with this because we feel that investing in the youth in this correct way is the best way to make them productive and divert them from all the negative things in society and put them in constructive work and really channelize their energy in a positive manner. So this Megala Grassroots program was made because what we have started doing is that we as a government have started supporting our artists. We give you money to perform in a tourist location. We give you funds and this is happening every day in Sri Lanka. And we plan to expand this now. It started in Tura, it started in Sora. I hope that slowly and steadily it started in Jowai, Longstoy, and other parts of the state where all different bands and artists would like to perform. You perform, Megala government pays you, and the public enjoys the music. It's a very simple model. But again, what the larger picture behind all of these activities you will realize is really what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a positive environment around the energy of the youth. If the government's policies are not done in a proper manner, and if we fail to direct you into the right areas, then we will see that our youth will get into all the antisocial activities. And this is really what our objective is. We would like our youth to be productive.